and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I just received this box by FedEx. Unfortunately, mm, FedEx seems to have uh, slightly dropped the ball this time and it appears to have landed on the box. So, well, uh, we'll have to see how well the stuff inside has survived the drop ball. So, being curious, let's uh, see what we have inside. Okay, FedEx has the option to open the box from here. Let's use the recommended method and see what comes out and most importantly in what condition. So here we go. This arrives from General Vision. Put this aside. And let's see what they have sent. So here we go. We have two neural shields. The neural shield has just been added to the latest versions of Visuino, and it's a really cool, very cool uh, shield that adds over 1,700 neurons, RBF or KMN type of uh, classifier neurons, to the Arduino. You simply stack the shield. I'll show you shortly. Yeah, let's let's start with the shields. In addition, we got uh, two brilliant USB neural sticks. They have similar type of hardware neurons. It's a artificial intelligence classifier. Well, actually you can configure it as multiple classifiers, but uh, we'll talk about that in more details, uh, maybe some other time. Uh, here I'll just briefly mention it. But before we go with the USBs, we'll take a look at one of the shoots. So I'll put one USB and one uh, brilliant USB and one neural shield aside for me to play with them later and focus on this one. Let's see how we open the box. It seems that you open it from this side gently and oh boy what we have here. Not only we have neural shield but we also have expansion neural brick for it. So the shields are very very interesting. The neural shield has FPGA controlling the neurons. There is micro SD, which is a bonus. There is accelerometer and gyro on board. A bit older one, MPU 6050, but uh, still pretty uh, capable one. But most importantly, it has a specialized neural chip on board. This chip can do nothing other than doing artificial intelligence classifications. And furthermore, right here, you can start stacking neural bricks to add more neurons. So you start, I believe, with 1700 neurons on the chip, on the shield itself. And then I have to see in the specs how many neurons are in the uh, brick. You can pick a brick and gently install it on the shield. And then if you need more neurons, you can take another brick and install on top of this one. Actually, I believe the shield itself has like uh, 500 and something neurons and each brick has two more chips, each adding 
500 and something more neurons. So you can stack considerable number of bricks and add considerable amount of artificial intelligence to your Arduino project. This produces practically instantaneous. It's within microseconds, I have to see the exact timing, results of classification and the same goes for training. The training and classification are instantaneous beating even GPU and other dedicated computational platforms in terms of this type of classifiers. So again, you can take something as simple as Arduino Uno, add the shield and start competing with GPU powered systems, very high end GPU powered systems in terms of classification. This is definitely something that can bring a different perspective to what Arduino and microcontrollers are all about. And yes, this shield together with the brick are supported as of today in Visuino. You can go download it and start playing with the shield. I am planning to post some tutorials on it and we'll have soon some cool demos Again, I barely, barely succeeded to scramble to add properly and initially test the support in Visuino. So I haven't had time to really make some good demos yet, but that's coming as well. I have only some very, very simple, goofy uh, tests that I have made. Now, I'll quickly stack the shield on top of my Maduino Uno, which is a Arduino Uno clone that's the closest board I was able to grab around me so it stacks like normal shield and let's power it up and see how it looks out of the box okay it's powered up it does run actually some animation while running being powered on it has two LEDs indicating different powers apparently and now it is ready for us to program the Arduino to start using the classifiers By the way, the classifiers can be accessed both from the Arduino and through this USB port. So you can just connect the shield through USB to a computer and access the knowledge and the classifiers. I haven't played with this functionality yet, but from the documentation, this is something I should be able to do. And we'll move to the brilliant USB. Grab the good old Rusty and see what we need to do. So we have two plastic tapes on both ends. This ought to do it and we'll slide it out. And this effectively is similar. Let's see how we get it out. Probably from this end. Or oh, yes, the whole thing just comes out actually. Yeah, that's fine. Interesting design. Again, this is the first time while I have worked with the neural shields and I'm familiar with them. This is the very first time I hold one of these in my hands. And again, this is not something that for now is intended for Visuino. Uh, it may be useful for Raspberry Pi, but I actually plan to use it in my 
Delphi and uh, Visual Studio and Visual C++ .NET and uh, Visual C++ libraries as well as probably OpenWire Studio we'll see how it's all going to go this has been sent to me so I can experiment with it this one has 2000, uh, 2304 neurons on board this is an M550 type of uh, uh, chip running it on board so anyway these two devices they are targeting slightly different things this one as I said will target probably Raspberry Pi and my libraries as well as OpenWire Studio uh, this one already supported in Visuino but I wanted to do some more projects and even try to run some robots with artificial intelligence on board and see what I can get them to do it will definitely be fun one of the interesting things that I am as of uh, today adding in Visuino and it should be in the next versions is initial support for video cameras as well so this shield with its artificial intelligence classification is a fantastic combination with a video camera so we'll be definitely having a lot of fun stuff coming to Visuino as well as all the other products and stuff that I'm working on so that's it in this video it's fairly quick one if I get chance I will try to sneak in a video some really short demo of at least some of the features of the shield if not please stay tuned and there will be more videos coming please let me know in the comments what do you think I should do with this shield uh, what kind of projects you'd like to see me doing and posting videos and uh, video tutorials for them as well as instructables and other tutorials please also let me know which form of tutorial you like the best do you prefer my videos or the instructables or tutorials on Hackster or any other platform or form let me know so I'll try to make content that you all enjoy that's it I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope everyone is having great time if you like the video and if you like the content and want to see more and uh, help me promote Visuino and everything else please remember to at least click the like button and if you really really feel like further supporting me you can also subscribe and click on the bell button now time for me to go and start playing with the new shield in Visuino and continue to work on the video support in Visuino specifically video cameras that's it for today see you soon goodbye